Jerry Yeagley Field, home to the number four team in the country, Indiana Hoosiers, and home to tonight's in-state matchup between the Indiana Hoosiers and the IUPUI Jaguars. My name is Eddie Coton, and alongside me is Pat White, and on the sidelines we have Carly Murata. Now, Pat, give us a little bit about the series history between these two. Yeah, this series dates back to 2000 with all of the games being played here at Armstrong Stadium with the Hoosiers controlling the series with all eight wins and also outscoring the Jaguars 27 to three. It'll be interesting to see the scoring output today, but first, an injury update from Carly Murata. It's hard to handle a defense like this, but we're gonna see what we see right now. Tanner Thompson playing a lot farther up the pitch, trying to make things happen as the ball's played out wide and crossed into the box off of Josh Gray, falling to Trevor Swartz, who just can't keep hold of it as it continues to bounce around here on the right side of the pitch. Nice deflection there by Gray. Swartz almost had one right there, but unable. As Weddy will look to send this into the box, giving it to Thompson, and give and go there, missed, and played back to Buckmaster. As Reese Wedderburn does a nice job deflecting that off of Kay Tyler. Kay Tyler getting a start today at left back. Hasn't started many games this season. IUPUI, of course, shifting around their lineup a lot so far this season. Coach Barnett trying to get adjusted, and those are one of those adjustments. As Richie Ballard does a great job blowing by his defender, attempts to cut back, unable to, but finds Wedderburn again at the top of the box, who will reevaluate. And Indiana will look to take their time again. Wedderburn doing a really good job of controlling the ball. He brings a lot of skill to this team. As we see a big interception there that leads to Tanner Thompson getting the ball in the box. And it's has a perfect through ball there for Buckmaster. He's going to look to blow by his defender and send across into the box. And it's there for Richie Ballard, who finds the back of the net for the fourth time this season as Indiana gets the first goal of the game putting them up 1-0 thanks to that great cross. Looking back at the replay right here, Reese Buckmaster, like you said, a great cross to Richie Ballard, the team leader in goals, and there's another one for him. And Buckmaster, what a way to get your feet under you here, getting the big start, replacing McConnell, and sending that cross in perfectly for Ballard, who made that run. In a matchup that's been kind of crucial to how this game has developed so far has been Richie Ballard, who we keep bringing up, of course, because he's such an important member of this Hoosier team, coming up against Ben Thornton. Coach Barnett said some great things about Thornton prior to this game. He really highlights him as a rock. Now, what have you liked from Thornton so far? Now, we've seen some good little details from IUPUI. Definitely some good play from the players up top trying to work the counter, and definitely some strong defense from Ben Thornton and Jordan Perrone really holding back this IU attack so far. As we will now see a corner coming in from Trevor Swartz, the man with the constant green light who sends this one in far post as it's parried away by Josh Gray. Andrew Gutman now looking to blow by his defender and send in a low cross that's intervened with perfectly by Ben Thornton, not allowing that ball to fall to Rashad Hyacinth we were recently talking about. Hyacinth, of course, a Belmont transfer, has come into this team and had to really adjust. Yeah, he really. But now, thanks to that turnover, Corey Thomas will look to push Hyacinth forward for a counter. He's gonna take advantage of his room, finds Hyacinth on the left side of the box, blows by the defender, but unable to get by that sliding tackle from Nick Anderson. Well played there. Yeah, well played. Indiana now has 10 shots so far in this game, but only have been able to convert once past Josh Gray, somewhat resemblant of this last matchup that Indiana had against Northwestern, putting up 28 shots and not finding the back of the net. If you're Indiana, Pat, are you happy with how this game is going so far? As Trevor Swartz looks to give that a rip right there off his left foot, just wide again of Josh Gray. But another shot from outside of the box from these Hoosiers. And it, it's interesting to see that they've been unable to really get behind this back line of IUPUI. Inner Thompson plays that ball to Hyacinth, doing a good job holding up his defender. Finding Buckmaster, who sends that cross in for Poncho, who dummies that and lets it go by him. And now IUPUI is going to be able to counter as Papa Njai has the ball at his feet and just misplays that out of bounds. 
As, as that ball is laid off for Swartz, who's going to take his space and get pushed around a little bit there, and that could lead to an IUPUI counterattack once again. And Buckmaster intervenes on that one, and he's going to look to push it back for Indiana. Good ball control right now with Buckmaster. Poncho taking some room, sending that through ball in, and the shot just off the post. Tapped by Josh Gray and sent off the post, but a great opportunity for the Hoosiers. He will look to push the counter. Corey Thomas doing a great job with the Meg there. Now Buckmaster finding Hyacinth with some room around the box. Indiana looking to put the pressure on here with a minute 40 left to go. Trevor Sports with some space. That ball is played into Poncho, which now finds the feet of Gutman. Now some room there for Poncho, who sends a low cross in for Thomas, as that is just sent away again by Nick Anderson, doing a great job clearing that for IUPUI's defense. But Coach Yeagley confident in the fact that that goal is coming as Reese Wedderburn is unable to get by his defender, and IUPUI once again has a chance on the counterattack. It'll be interesting to see what they do as Christian Soto finds some space and looks around at his options. Now IUPUI pushing it wide. As it appears like IUPUI will be crowding the keeper, making that run into the near post as it's sent in and played perfectly by Colin Webb getting out there and parrying that away. Yeah. So this last shot gets knocked away by Colin Webb and that's gonna be the end of this one. Indiana pulling away with a two nothing victory after 36 shots on net. Quite the brigade as we see Coach Barnett and Coach Yeagley shake hands. Pat, what'd you like today? Well, it was a